What up? Welcome to a Thursday All Nighter. Today is February 14th, 2013, Valentine's Day, and I'm starting the Thursday All Nighter a little early this week because I have an exciting night book tonight. I'm building a PC. <laughs> I usually say I don't mind being single on Valentine's Day because it saves me money, but uh, this year that does not hold true. Um, if you would have asked me about six days ago, or seven days ago, last week, if I was planning on building another PC, I would have said no. But uh, my hard drive and my computer that I, the computer I have now, I built in 2008, the hard drive crashed in it. And uh, the computer will run for like five minutes, and then it'll restart on its own. And I checked the event logs, and it's hard drive paging errors, and then it has an actual like error, something about the hard disk. So I figured that it was time for, the computer's been, you know, having problems in and out just from being an XP computer running for uh, four years, five years. So uh, I decided to go ahead and build a new one. And uh, I, the day that I crapped out, I got an email about the Valentine's Day specials with Newegg. So, uh, they shipped it out in four different packages. I got two packages right now, and I'm waiting for two packages to come before I can build it. And I'll show you all the components. I'm going to show you building it, and I'll explain why I picked the certain components, uh, why I did that. Uh, but uh, I figured right now, another my whole computer desk situation is uh, real messy, and especially the wiring in the back. So when I put together this new computer. I want my desk to look nice and neat. So uh, I figured I was going to get a head start. I'll start the video now. I'm going to get a head start and tear this desk completely apart. Dust the whole desk. Tear everything apart. So then that way, once I get it built, I can put everything back together. I don't, I, you know, I already have everything tore apart. So uh, here we go. Oh yeah, real quick. I had one plant germinate. This is a jalapeno plant. And as you can see, it doesn't look too good. I gave it a little more water. I took it out this morning and uh, set it on the windowsill, but it rained all day today. You know, I didn't do anything. It's been a very uh, um, rainy day. Didn't go skydiving this Thursday. But uh, so I'm putting it under the oven light here to uh, hopefully get it to sprout a little more. I thought it was looking dead, but I think that right there is a root and that's going to be what sprouts up so we will see I thought I would go ahead and show you this and then I'll show you it at the end of the day end of the night to see if it does any better well I hate to admit that the computer desk was way more dirty and dusty than I want to admit even for my standards but everything's dusted off cleaned off uh, I use an Apple keyboard the Apple that keyboard I've had since I had a Mac probably seven years I've used that keyboard and that was nasty man I was taking a q-tip in it and between the keys and it was looking like earwax was coming out it was nasty but uh everything's taken apart ready to be put back together and guess what my final two packages came so I have everything to start building the computer so uh, here we go okay so I'm gonna build it here in the kitchen because we have tile here in the kitchen so uh, here's the case it's a cool master half 922 I was originally gonna just reuse my old case but my old case was a Rosewell and uh, and it was cheap and the it only had one fan in the rear and it was real loud so I disabled that fan and back when I was living with my parents I had my case in my basement so it was always cool down there and I think that screwed me over moving here and it's being hotter in my apartment you know I'm kind of cheap in the summer I only leave the air conditioning at 80 degrees I think that kind of screwed me over on why my graphics card went up so I decided to buy cool master you know uh, it's it was an $80 case plus uh, seven, $10 mail-in rebate so it's gonna end up being $70 so it was it's the cheaper case you know I'm not gonna admit that I went big budget on the case but uh, hopefully the fans are quiet I'll have a lot more airflow than my original case 
and uh, I won't have those any of those problems. So, uh, yeah, that's the case. Okay, I took the motherboard out because I'm trying to decide what order I should put everything together in. Uh, it's been such a long time. I only built a computer once in my life, and that was in 2008. So I'm thinking in this case, I'm going to put in the power supply first since the motherboard will have plenty of room to go in if I put in the power supply. So I'm going to take the motherboard back out and unwrap the power supply. Okay, so the power supply I chose was an Antec 550 watt power supply. Originally, I was going to go and just reuse the power supply I had in my old PC, which was an Antec 430 watt earth watts power supply. Uh, but I decided this was a Valentine's Day special, New Egg Valentine's Day special. Um, I forget exactly how much I picked it up for, but I have another $10 mail-in rebate for, for this. And uh, I decided, well, I'll leave my computer that I have now intact and just get a new power supply. Uh, Antec, I was happy with my first power supply. I never had any problems with it. Another reason is I'm going to try to build this PC to look really neat inside. Uh, my other PC... Uh, the wires were all over the place and this one has a uh, connection so if you're not using a cable uh, you don't have to have it in there so I'm gonna mount that right in here on the bottom my uh, old PC had a top uh, power supply this one has a bottom okay I decided to move ahead and get the CPU mounted on the motherboard and then I'll mount the motherboard inside the case uh, okay so the motherboard it's a Biostar. Uh, my last motherboard was around 100 bucks. I forget exactly how much it was. It was a gigabyte, and it worked pretty well this whole entire time. So uh, this is a Biostar. This motherboard was around 100 bucks. Um, so it's not a expensive motherboard. I'm not familiar with this brand, so hopefully this will turn out to be a good uh, brand and a good motherboard, and I won't have any problems. Uh, I was happy with my gigabytes one. Uh, hopefully I'll be happy with this one. It's T-Series uh, TZ77B. The reason I chose this motherboard on the Valentine's Day special sales uh, on select motherboards you got free RAM. So uh, to keep prices down, to keep my costs down, and uh, I, when I built this PC I was trying to go for uh, to have a good PC that will last me another five years like my old PC did. In my old PC I put $700 in and this new one I put $720 in so hopefully everything I pick will last me for five years but will be a good value as well now uh, yes yeah, so that's why I got this motherboard to get free eight gigabytes of RAM the processor uh, is Intel Core i5 quad core 3.4 gigahertz uh, I believe that this is a good uh, for what I use it for, I'll do very little gaming, very little gaming. This is just a general use PC. I do game a little bit, but not enough to justify dumping money into a gaming PC. But uh, I know that this processor should uh, do the job. And it was uh, this processor was $230, and with the Valentine's Day special, it was $15 off. So I paid $215 for this. And back when I built my last computer in 2008, that was the Intel Core 2 Duo, 3 gigahertz, and it was the same exact price, 230. So I actually got this cheaper. So uh, let's go. And uh, this is the most nerve-wracking part about building a PC: handling the CPU and installing it on the motherboard. So I might not film it all, but uh, I'll show you the aftermath. Okay, so there's the CPU fan. Uh, Important thing to note is on the bottom side of the CPU fan, there is a uh, thermo paste, so you don't have to add your own thermo paste. That will, once you sit this on top of the processor, once the processor heats up on its own, it'll melt that thermo paste for the heat sink. And uh, let me make sure I'm not, I have no shoes on, on tile. I'm assuming that this is grounded properly, but. This is the chip. So let's see. It says, uh, you know, there's two types. Looks like I have type V. 
So Okay, so that lifts up. You take this off. Now, I don't know uh, what's the specific, uh, let me see if there's any specific markings. Okay, so you see this side has, oh, this side of one, two, three divots, and that side has one, two, three divots. One divot on top, one divot on top, and then one, two on the side, one, two. So this CPU sits in there like this. So uh, let me put the camera down. Okay, here we go. This is uh, probably the no most nerve wracking part. Okay, I'm just gonna touch the sides. Oh yeah, and there's a little uh, key right here on the side. So just drop it on top. Okay, the key is in there, it's sitting down flat, put this over top, let me double check, yep, it's sitting down flat, oh there we go, it, this thing has to go underneath this uh, screw this goes down and over and uh, CPU is seated that was nerve-wracking but you got it done okay so now we got to put in the fan um, let's see where the CPU fan plug is system fan nah. Oh, CPU fan up here. CPU fan, four pin. Four pin right here. So, probably to make it look neater, I'll uh, have the Intel pointing the right way. Okay. One. Two. Three. Okay. In, 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 in. Okay, so we are fully in. Yep, and checking the back side, all of them are clicked in. So that's it. Then we take this and we. Uh, Trying to do this so the wires twisted neat. Perfect length. Fan spins freely and we're plugged in. Okay, so now we're ready to install the motherboard inside the PC case. Okay, installing the standoffs, it came with something pretty cool. It came with a little socket kit to uh, screw down the standoffs.